if you have your study material, just open it right now because we are going to use it. Our live class about expressions to go shopping in Portuguese. Yay! Olá, Jason e Chad. Hello, oi galera. Tudo bem? So this is our the theme of our class, expressions to go shopping in Portuguese. I am right here. Yeah, it, it, this is our whiteboard. Maybe here, this way is better. Okay, guys, so while you are just coming, tell me where you are in the world. Where are you from? Write in the comments where you are and then let me know why you are studying Portuguese. What are your motivations? What are the reasons you are, start, you are studying Portuguese? And since uh, after last week, after Saturday, this is our first live class after the Portuguese Fluency Journey. Tell me if you have watched our classes in the Portuguese Fluency Journey and how, what do you think about it? How was this experience for you? What, do, what did you think about the classes, the topics we discussed, everything we taught you? in the class, during the class, uh, what are your vision in what you said, the five steps to achieve fluency in Portuguese, we taught you in our classes, and uh, what did you think about the class where you showed how the Yes Portuguese course works, so if you have watched it, okay, just let me know how was the Portuguese fluency journey for you, it was a good ex um, event, how was that? Olá! Okay, Jason is from Ireland, Irlanda. Roderick, yes, Roderick just signed up to become a yapper. So he's now a yapper. I think it's you, right, Roderick? Houston, United States. So welcome, Roderick, a yapper, new yapper. If you don't know what is a yapper, I need to tell you right now. And the yappers that are watching this class, you can share he this here using this hashtag yapper a yapper is a student in the yes portuguese course and the yes portuguese course is an online course complete course that goes from zero to fluency in portuguese and you study totally online you have video classes you have um, uh, pdf files with the contents of, of our lessons you have uh, conversation class group classes so we have another yapper here new hello new welcome to this class he just signed up to be a yapper too to he, he just enrolled to the yes portuguese uh, and you know, they enroll to the Yes Portuguese course right now because the enrollment is open. Opened yet, but only, only until Friday. So if you want to do a course, a Portuguese course, if you want to learn your Portuguese with a good method, have uh, this method is structured for you, prepared for you, video classes, PDF materials, uh, individual classes, and also group classes, you should enroll to the Yes Portuguese course. Okay, we have Saif here. There is another yapper. Welcome, Saif. Uh, it's 2 a.m. in Londres. Oh my God, 2 a.m. in London, guys. Oh, cool. And Michelle, Michelle, you are from Brooklyn, New York. Oh, cool. New York is the only place I have been in the United States and I really would love to visit other parts of the US, but I just couldn't yet, but I went to New York. So really cool. Uh, hello, Amina, hello, Amina here. Hola, where are you from, Amina? Uh, okay. Yeah, Neil, Saif and Roderick, you are, you are in the same class in the Yes Portuguese course, so you are classmates. <laughs> Welcome, guys. It's really cool to see you here. Oi, Chantel. Boa noite. Long time without seeing you here. 
Welcome again. Okay, guys, so I just wanted to say that if you want to enroll to the Yes Portuguese course, the enrollment is open right now. You are free to try it. You have 30 days to try if you want. And you can watch the video, just give it a chance. Watch the video where I explain everything. And this is in this link here. So in this uh, link, we explain everything you need to know about the Yes Portuguese course. Okay? So, and if you have questions about it, don't hesitate to contact us. So, um, okay. Uh, thank you, Michelle. You need to come back, get a real New Yorker experience. Oh, I really want you. I had a very touristic experience when I went there. It was 12 days and we visit the most famous places, I guess. So, but all of them, most of them in Manhattan. I guess we went to the Brooklyn Bridge, but not uh, inside Brooklyn. Uh, but I would love to go back and get a new, a real New Yorker experience. And I mean, it's from Hawaii. Pretty cool. That's another place that is in my list to visit before dying. Let's see when I can do that. <laughs> okay, okay. So, guys, I was saying that if you want, you can just. Give it a try, watch this video where we talk about the Yes Portuguese course, okay? Uh, all right, so let's see, let's begin, begin our class. Um, here we are. Are you with your study material? Do you have it in your hands? Because we are beginning with that. Oh, new, yes, I visited Brooklyn, but only the Brooklyn Bridge. I didn't go to the neighborhood yeah oh Manhattan didn't see New York City oh my god <laughs> okay uh visit London I have been London Saif I have been there twice actually and uh, it's one of my favorite places in the world thank you. you you live in a very cool places facts okay guys okay I, I really need to go back to New York then thank you Okay, so if you have your study materials in hand, let's open it because we use it right now. We will begin, as you can see, we sent this study material to our WhatsApp group. So we always send a um, study material PDF file for our Tuesday live classes. And this is a little bit high. Okay, so expressions to go shopping in Portuguese. It's our theme of this class. And then I did an introduction here. So, olá, estudantes de português. Hello, Portuguese students. One important thing when we are visiting or living in another country is to know expression used when we go shopping. I remember when I was living in Sweden and I uh, was studying Swedish. I, I still can't speak Swedish, but I can understand some words and some expressions right now. Uh, so, when I was living there, there was one expression that I never understood. It was, I don't know how to say that in Swedish, but it was an expression they used to answer if I want to buy a bag. Uh, and I needed Otavio, that's my husband, to explain it to me and to say it many times to me because I couldn't understand the sentences, the sentence. Uh, and this is very important because I know in Brazil you never buy a bag, they give it to you, a plastic bag, unfortunately. But uh, in Sweden it's important to know if I want to buy a bag, otherwise I, I need to have one with me. Uh, and this was a cultural thing and a very important thing that I needed to learn before leaving there. So another important thing is you need to know the name of products. You also need to know how to ask for products how to ask the price of something and you need to be able to understand what sellers are saying what they are explaining what they are offering you so if you have no clue about these words or expressions no worries because we're here to help and this class is about it so in today's class you learn vocabulary questions and answers offers that you may need to interact when you go shopping okay so let's begin we will start watching a video to practice our listening, our oral comprehension and the transcription of this video. It's just one part of this video. It's not the entire video. It's here. Okay. 
So I just read for you in Portuguese very slowly right now and after that we're going to watch it. So, oi, tudo bem? Opa, quanto que tá esse cinto, por favor? Vai ser só o cintinho? Não vai levar mais nada? Só o cinto. Tem certeza? Porque este vestido tá saindo bastante com o cintinho. Não, obrigada. O vestido, se você levar, o cintinho sai pela metade do preço. Ah, é? Então tá. Tudo bem, eu vou levar. Então vai ser o vestido, o cinto. Vai querer um sapatinho para ir junto com o vestido e o cinto? Não, obrigada, não tô precisando. Tem certeza? Sapatinho é a sua cara. Minha cara, né? Não, mas quero não, obrigada. Olha, se você levar o sapatinho, o vestidinho e o cinto, a gente consegue fazer por 13 vezes sem juros para você. Nossa, tá ótimo. Então tudo bem, pode colocar tudo. Você passa no cartão rápido que meu marido tá no carro me esperando. Sabe como é, né? Ok. So I just read it. I and I read a little bit fast. But we're going to watch it now, ok? So... We're not going to read anything now, just listen to the video. Ok, let's begin. Oi, tudo bem? Opa. Vou levar esse cinto, por favor. Ah, vai ser só o cintinho? Não vai levar mais nada? Só o cinto. Tem certeza? Porque esse vestido tá saindo bastante com o cintinho. Não, obrigada, não quero. O vestido, se você levar, o cintinho sai pela metade do preço. Ah, é? Então tá, tudo bem, vou levar. Então vai ser o vestido, o cinto. Vai querer um sapatinho pra ir junto com o vestido e o cinto? Não, obrigada, não, não tô precisando. Tem certeza? Esse sapatinho é a sua cara. É minha cara, né? Não, eu não quero não, obrigada. Olha, se você levar o sapatinho, o vestidinho e o cinto, a gente consegue fazer por 13 vezes sem juros pra você. Nossa, tá ótimo. Então tudo bem, pode colocar tudo. Você passa o cartão rápido que meu marido tá no carro me esperando, sabe como é, né? Ok, let's listen to it again. One more time. No worries, Kevin, you are s you're not late, you're just starting. <laughs> so pay attention, uh, listen to this video, ok? Oi, tudo bem? Opa. Vou levar esse cinto, por favor. Ah, vai ser só o cintinho? Não vai levar mais nada? Só o cinto. Tem certeza? Porque esse vestido tá saindo bastante com o cintinho. Não, obrigada, não quero. O vestido, se você levar, o cintinho sai pela metade do preço. Ah, é? Então tá, tudo bem, vou levar. Então vai ser o vestido, o cinto. Vai querer um sapatinho pra ir junto com o vestido e o cinto? Não, obrigada, não, não tô precisando. Tem certeza? Esse sapatinho é a sua cara. É minha cara, né? Não, eu não quero não, obrigada. Olha, se você levar o sapatinho, o vestidinho e o cinto, a gente consegue fazer por 13 vezes sem juros pra você. Nossa, tá ótimo, então tudo bem, pode colocar tudo. Você passa o cartão rápido que meu marido tá no carro me esperando, sabe como é, né? Ok. Hello, Jean. Welcome. Hello. Uh, okay, guys. So now we are going to uh, read the transcription while we listen to the video, okay? Oi, tudo bem? Opa. Vou levar esse cinto, por favor. Ah, vai ser só o cintinho? Não vai levar mais nada? Só o cinto. Tem certeza? Porque esse vestido tá saindo bastante com o cintinho. Não, obrigada. Não quero. O vestido, se você levar, o cintinho sai pela metade do preço. Ah, é? Então tá, tudo bem, vou levar. Então vai ser o vestido, o cinto. Vai querer um sapatinho pra ir junto com o vestido e o cinto? Não, obrigada, não, não tô precisando. Tem certeza? Esse sapatinho é a sua cara. É minha cara, né? Não, eu não quero não, obrigada. Olha, se você levar o sapatinho, o vestidinho e o cinto, a gente consegue fazer por 13 vezes sem juros pra você. Nossa, tá ótimo, então tudo bem, pode colocar tudo. Você passa o cartão rápido que meu marido tá no carro me esperando, sabe como é, né? Ok, so now let's understand what they are saying here. The vendedora is the word we use for the seller, okay? So she just say, Oi, tudo bem? Hi, is everything okay? Is everything good? How are you? And then the client, a cliente, she says, Opa, it's the same as, Hi, what's up? Quanto que tá este cinto, por favor? She says, How much is this bell, please? And then the seller, a vendedora, the This, um, she says, vai ser só o cintinho? It will be just this little belt. Não vai levar mais nada. Não vai levar mais nada. You're not taking anything else. Você não vai levar mais nada. You're not taking anything else. So it's very common to hear sellers saying this sentence here. Vai ser só isso. It will be just this. So it, it will be just the belt. It will be just the dress, it will be, ju it will be just the pants, the pants, so vai ser só o cintinho, 
Não vai levar mais nada. You're not going to, you're not taking anything else. And this is another question, important question. Não vai levar mais nada. You're not taking anything else. And here, guys, pay attention because we have sintinho. Sintinho. And this is the diminutive form for sinto. Okay? So, as you can see, I just dropped the last vowel. The vowel O. And I add inho. The vowel, this diminutive suffix. Inho. So, you have sintinho. We have this uh, habit here uh, to make things in the diminutive, to say things in the diminutive form uh, a lot here in Brazil. We say that, okay? So then she says, só sinto, just about. And then the seller insists and she says, tem certeza? Are you sure? Tem certeza? Porque este vestido... Tá saindo bastante com cintinho. Because this dress is selling a lot with this belt. This little belt. Literally, inho, this diminutive, means little something. You know? But it's not just that it's small. It's just sometimes just a kind way of saying things, you know? So, porque este vestido tá saindo bastante com cintinho. Because this dress, it's selling a lot with this belt. And the client says, não, obrigada, no, thanks. Ok? And the seller insists, and she says, então vai ser o vestido, o cinto, so it will be the dress, the belt... Vai querer um sapatinho para ir junto com o vestido e o cinto? Will you want... Uh, do you want a small... Small shoes to go together with the dress and the belt? So, she's insisting she wants to sell more to this client. So, she said she added a shoes. Vai querer um sapatinho para ir junto com o vestido e... O cinto? No, Kevin. So my son name would be Kevinho. No, actually it would be your nickname. I could call you Kevinho. Just to be kind. Ok? <laughs> ok. So, alright. Then the client says, Não, obrigada. Não tô precisando. No, thanks. I'm, I don't need it. Ok? No, thanks. I don't need it. Uh, and then the seller says, Tem certeza? Are you sure? Esse sapatinho é a sua cara. É a sua cara. So, tem, tem certeza? It's, are you sure? In, and then she insists saying, Esse sapatinho é a sua cara. These shoes, is, it, it seems like you. It looks like you. Or it's made for you. You know, I'm just saying that uh, this shoes goes well with her. Okay? And then the client says, Minha cara, né? It looks like me, right? No, mas não quero não. Obrigada. So, no, but I don't want. I don't want it. Thanks. And then the seller still insists, saying, Olha, se você levar o sapatinho, o vestidinho e o cinto... A gente consegue fazer por 13 vezes sem juros para você. So, if you take the shoes, the dress and the belt, we can make it in 13 times without... Can you split it in 13 times without any... How can I say juros in English? I forgot that. Sorry, one second. Without any addition for you. So, she's saying, in Brazil, we have this, um, it's very common to split in some um, parcels the price of something. So, you can buy, for example, the Yes Portuguese course in four uh, parcels, you know. You can buy a dress splitted in some parcels, you know, so in here she's saying we can split it in 13 times without any addition for you, okay? 
so uh, <laughs> it's a very good business yeah we, when you can split something uh, and you pass your card your credit card and you split it so your bank will pay the seller entirely and you pay your bank in parcels you know so you pay for example you buy something that costs two thousand reais and you can split it four times so you pay four or five hundred reais you know let me check if i'm correct because i'm yeah 500 so you say 500 reais you pay four parcels or you can pay for example uh you know 2000 reais in 13 parcels so you have uh, you pay 13 times of 153 reais okay yeah installments thank you it's installments thank you so 13 installments uh, without addition so it's good so you don't comp you don't compromise all your salary all your money and you can buy a lot of things that's what you do here in brazil <laughs> okay uh, okay so let's see what your comment here we have uh, people asking what means cara well guys cara means dude in a context so for example I'll show you here so imagine you're saying cara você comprou um vestido lindo so it means dude you bought beautiful dress ok cara você comprou um vestido lindo dude you bought a beautiful dress but when I say este vestido é a sua cara, it's differently. It's like literally it would be this, literally, okay guys? This dress is your face. Because cara can also be face, okay? But when I use this expression here, é a sua cara, it means it looks like you, okay? So this is the literal one, but we want the other one and it means this dress looks like you it combines with you you know it'll be good on you it'll be nice on you it has your style yeah this dress has your style something like that okay Okay, let's see, pay in full now or do payment plan, payment plan, but interest is added, is added, yeah, 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 payments, it's most like interest when you charge is added to an original course, yeah, yeah, that's it, thank you, installments, slang for made for you, yeah, that's it, thank you, Omar, it's a, it's a slang, made for you, it has your style, uh, okay, this dress looks just like you. Yeah, thank you, Charles. That's it. Okay, guys, thank you very much for helping me with translation in English. Thank you. Oh, safe. Yeah, be even better. Dress. This dress suits you. Perfect. Yeah. So then the client doesn't resist and she says, Nossa, it me which means, wow. And then she says, tá ótimo, it's great. Então, tudo bem. So, that's fine. Pode colocar tudo. You can add everything. Você passa o cartão rápido que meu marido tá no carro me esperando? Sabe como é, né? So, you pass my card fast, quickly, because my husband is on, it's in the car waiting for me. You know how it is, right? So, this, she's saying... She's asking the seller to pay in her credit card very quickly because her husband is waiting for her. So, and the uh, husbands, when her wife is buying stuff and then we, they just take some time to buy their stuff, they get some wor get word or annoyed. For example, my husband always gets annoyed when we go to the supermarket because I like to 
check every brand and especially when I'm buying cleaning products or per personal products like uh, you know soap and uh, shampoo and things like that and I like to smell them to see if they are good so then my husband always say are you ready are you ready are you ready have you finished he always insisted yeah ne good question Jean yeah ne it's a tag question and it can mean uh, what you'd translate in a tag question in English so you can say isn't it isn't it could be right right certo could be uh, is it it doesn't mean it doesn't matter it's just a tag question in Portuguese it be always be ne in Portuguese but you have a lot of them right it depends on the sentence okay take my money with good shopping deals like that <laughs> okay good it's a good deal right to split in 13 times without any interest and okay so now let's see the vocabulary because that's why we're here so in, when you go shopping and you're going to buy clothes and accessories so we have um, for example vestido this is a dress vestido cinto is the belt um, sapato is a shoe calça is pants saia is skirt blusa is the t-shirt casaco is the coat e camiseta is the yeah Blusa is a shirt and camiseta is t-shirt. Okay, I will write the translation for you. Let's see comments here. Ne means right, correto, não é ne. Yeah, hurry or quickly, yeah. Yeah, that's correct, Michelle, ne. Yeah. Thanks, Chantel. Okay, guys, so ne, ne, it's a tag question and it is also a contraction of não é. But we normally don't use não é as a tag question, we just use ne. Okay? All right. So we have vestido, cinto, sapato, calça, saia, blusa, casaco, camiseta. Dress, belt, shoes, pants, skirt, shirt, coat, t-shirt. Blows. Yeah, Charles, that's correct too. Oh, thank you so much for the rule about the O at the end of words sounding like uh, U. Muito obrigado. Good, Neil. Thank you. You saw the classes in the, the class in the Portuguese fluency journey. I taught that there. And also in the first lesson of listening in the first listening class in the Yes Portuguese course because I've seen that you already have done that you already did it, right? you did the class so that's it that's a very important thing because we don't say vestido we say vestido to sound more natural cinto, sapato okay? casaco good, very good yeah, okay so now let's talk about some uh, colors, cores, because uh, sometimes I want to buy a pink dress, which is um vestido rosa. And the important thing about Portuguese is in English, I know you have, you have first the adjective plus the noun, okay? In Portuguese, we can have it, but the normal order is the noun plus the adjective. So here is English and here is Portuguese. Okay, so I would say in English pink dress. But in Portuguese it's vestido rosa. Okay? So then I have azul which is blue, verde, which is green, vermelho, 
red, amarelo, yellow, preto, black, branco, white, rosa, rosa, pink, roxo, purple. Let's repeat with me. Azul. And pay attention because it's not azul. L. Don't say this kind of L in Portuguese. Say azul. Azul. Ok? Verde. Vermelho. Amarelo. Preto. Branco. Rosa. Roxo. Good? So, guys, if you are like, if you're enjoying this class, if you're liking this class, uh, don't forget to press the button, uh, the like button here on YouTube, because this is very important for us. We need to have your likes, because since we are doing this, we have in this class and we do it every Tuesday and every Thursday, it's very important to see that people really like it. Otherwise, we won't be do that, okay? So please give likes now, 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 now. Press the like button right now while you are watching this class, okay? Yeah, Chad, Cinza, that's very good. Very good um, question, Cinza. Okay, and Kevin just said a good question. Can you say negro as black? Yeah, you can. You can say, but you can say I have, um, for, example, for example, I can say I have a black dress. It would be better to say eu tenho um vestido preto. But I can say eu tenho um vestido negro. It's weird, actually. We don't use negro in this case, but we could use in other cases, okay? Um, let's see other questions. Cinza, it's gray. Very good. So, you know that movie? 50 Tons de Cinza, which is 50 Shades of Gray. It's like that, I guess. And in Portuguese, it's 50 Tons de Cinza. It's a color. Cinza. Okay, let's see. The final L pronunciation is the same as Brazil. Yes, always yo. You don't say Brazil in Portuguese, say Brazil. Okay, azul. Hello, welcome, Pink Pearl Disney Wishes. Welcome. Uh, Jean, thank you. Loving this class. And what is this? L. Yeah, the L. Okay, very nice, guys. All right. So now you've seen colors let's see some questions you can use when we are shopping so for example if i am the buyer if i am the client i can ask quanto que tá so i could ask quanto que tá esse sapato oops let's change the color right i okay quanto que tá esse sapato for example Quanto que tá esse sapato? Meaning, how much is this shoes? Ok? This shoe, yeah. Quanto que tá esse sapato? Ou quanto que tá essa blusa? Ok? Quanto que tá essa blusa? Quanto que tá... Always use this expression. Quanto que tá? Ok. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pink per Ouro preto. It's black gold. Ouro preto is the name of a city in Brazil. In genius, Brazil with S. That's correct. Brazil. Ok. Ok. Next question we have here. Quanto é? So I can ask quanto que tá ou quanto é essa calça? Oh my god, what I did? Uh, no, 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 no. I closed. Okay, let's go back here. So, we have quanto é? Quanto é essa? Uh, quanto é 
essa calça. How much is this paint? Let me just open it again. So, quanto é essa calça, for example? Let's put it in blue. Quanto é essa calça? And then we, in English is how much is this pants? Right? Okay. Oh, sapato is shoe. I understood the sentence. I expect that. Sapato is shoe. Yeah. Okay. Vai ver só. So, vai ver só. E vai ver só essa calça. It's you. We'll look just this pants, okay? You look just this pants. You're, you are looking for just this, just for this pants. So, are you looking for just this pants, okay? Uh, and then we have não vai levar mais nada. Remember that from the dialogue. Não vai levar mais nada. Aren't you taking anything else? Não vai levar mais nada. Aren't you taking anything else? You also have, vai passar o cartão, which is, are you paying on card, by card? Are you paying by card? Um, then we have, uh, você aceita cartão de crédito? Do you take credit card? Okay, do you take credit card? Você divide? Can you split? Can we pay in installments? Você divide? Quais as formas de, pa de pagamento? Which are the payment methods? Quais as formas de pagamento? Okay? Uh, você tem, você tem, for example, você tem uma blusa preta? Okay, do you have a black blouse? Okay, so guys, so sometimes you need to ask the seller if they have something, some, some product. So you say, você tem blusa preta? Você tem... Você tem mochila azul? Do you have... Means, do you sell it? Do you have it? Do you have blue backpack? Okay. Let's see questions here. This is what I use when I ask how much, quanto é? That's it. Quanto é? Quanto custa? Okay. I know quanto, quando, que, onde, como. I think they were listed as basics when I read. That's it. Sorry for typing things. I'm figuring it out very slowly. No problem. Go ahead. Can comment everything you want. Uh, can you repeat the pronunciation of accept, please? Sure, I will repeat everything when I finish reading it. Cartão is card, that's it. And dinheiro is cash, right. So, quais as formas de pagamento? Uh, você tem, I just told you. We can, the, the seller could ask us, qual tamanho? Which is the size? Qual tamanho? So, you're looking for a pants. And then someone, and then the seller asks you, qual tamanho? Ou, quanto você veste? How much do you wear? What is the size you wear? You know? Quanto você calça? Where is your, the size of your shoe? Quanto você calça? Okay? So, let's repeat it. Quanto que tá? And you add the, that thing you were looking for. Or, quanto é? Or, quanto custa? So, you have, quanto que tá? Let's just write them here. Quanto que tá? Something. Then you have, quanto é? Something. And you also have, quanto custa? Something. Okay? So, all of these questions you can use to ask for the price. So, then let's put it them in green. Okay? Quanto que tá? Quanto é? Quanto custa? Okay? And then the seller could ask you, vai ser só something? 
não vai levar mais nada, não vai levar mais nada. Você passa cartão? Você passa cartão? Você aceita cartão de crédito? Você aceita, aceita cartão de crédito? Do you take credit card? Você divide, você divide. Quais as formas de pagamento? Quais as formas de pagamento? Você tem something, você tem isso. Qual o tamanho? Qual o tamanho? Quanto você veste? Quanto você veste? Quanto você calça? Quanto você calça? Ok? So, we have here... Yeah, thank you. So, now let's see answers, respostas for those questions. So, we could add, quando, when we ask quanto custa, quanto que tá, quanto é, quanto custa isso, pink pearl, that's correct. We can answer, ele custa tantos reais. Ela custa, for example, if I ask quanto é essa calça, I could answer, I put this in pink, ela custa 100 reais, for example. She costs... 100, I preciso escrever, right? 100 reais, ok? Or it costs, it because you don't have an it pronoun here. Ou tá custando tantos reais. So, for example, I could also answer, tá custando 100 reais. It costs 100 reais. All of them are correct. Tá na faixa de, tá na faixa de cem reais. It's about, around or about, around, hundred reais. Quanto é o preço? Uh, then, Charles, that would be, qual é o preço? For example, qual é o preço dessa bolsa? It would be, what is the price? Ok? Qual é o preço dessa bolsa? Quanto, quanto é? Quanto custa? You're asking for the price. But we don't actually put quanto é o preço. We say qual é o preço. Ok? Uh, very good. Then, when someone asks you, vai ser só isso? Ou vai, não vai levar mais nada? You answer, só isso mesmo, só isso mesmo, just that. When you ask, ask, você passa cartão? Ou você aceita cartão de crédito? Ou quais as formas de pagamento? We can have as answers those sentences here. Aceitamos cartão de débito e crédito. Aceitamos cartão de débito e crédito. We take Debit and credit card. Dividimos de até vezes. We split in... in, um, in um, how can I say that? In 15, 10, 3 installments. Só dinheiro, just money, just cash. Não aceitamos cartão. We don't take card. Or you can also say, você pode pagar em dinheiro... Ou no cartão. You can pay on cash or by card. Você pode pagar à vista ou a prazo. Você pode pagar à vista ou a prazo. You can, pa you can pay... Um, just one second, I'm checking. Yeah, you can pay in cash. Or you can pay by card. With some time to pay, you know? Você pode parcelar. You can split it. Você pode parcelar. Ok? And then we can say, vou levar. It means, I you take it. Vou levar. Ou, não, não tô precisando. Which is what that girl says in the, other, in the video. Não, não tô precisando. No, I don't need it. 
Uh, we also have when we ask qual o tamanho, we could say tamanho P, tamanho M, tamanho G. Tamanho P, M ou G, which is S, M or L. P, P is pequeno, small. M is médio, medium. E G is grande, which is large in English. Uh, quanto você veste? We answer quanto você veste with Eu visto 36. I wear 36. That is the size of my, my waist, I guess. You know? Eu calço 36, 37. So, it's between 36 and 37. Okay? The, the, my shoe size. Good, guys. So, let's repeat. Ele ou ela custa 100 reais. Tá custando tantos reais. Tá na faixa de 100 reais. Aceitamos cartão de débito e crédito. Aceitamos cartão de débito e crédito. Só isso mesmo, só isso mesmo. Dividimos de até tantas vezes. Não aceitamos cartão. Não aceitamos cartão. Você pode pagar em dinheiro ou no cartão. Você pode pagar à vista ou a prazo. Você pode pagar à vista ou a prazo. Você pode parcelar. Você pode parcelar. Vou levar. Vou levar. Não, não tô precisando. Não, não tô precisando. Tamanho P, M ou G. Eu visto 36. Eu calço 36, 37. I'm sorry. Ok, and then we have some offers. For example, in the, vi in the video, the seller says, Este sapatinho... É a sua cara. This shoe is just like you. Se você levar uma peça, a outra sai de graça. If you take one product, the other one is for free. Se você levar o sapatinho, o vestido, o cinto, it's that. If, se você levar o cinto, o vestido sai pela metade do preço. If you take this, this the belt, the dress, uh, it, it will cost the half of the price. Ok? So, este é a sua cara. Se você levar uma peça, a outra sai de graça. Se você levar o sapatinho, o vestido sai pela metade do preço. Ok? Roderick has a question. Eu calço. Just for shoes, that's it, yeah. Very good. So, Pinky has a question. How would you say it if you were splitting a bill between two people? If it's separate checks? I think do that, I wanted to ask. Sure, let's see. So, if I am uh, and I need to split the bill between two people, I would say... Um, For, for example, nós vamos dividir. We will split the bill. Uh, eu vou pagar, for example, 30 reais. Ela vai pagar, sim, sei lá, 30 reais. Eu vou pagar 30 reais no dinheiro. Ela vai pagar 30 reais no cartão. It's very common to do this here in Brazil. So, I will pay... I will pay 30 reais on ca in cash. She will pay 30 reais by card. You can say that, ok? Um, let's see other questions. Will you share these written lessons with us, please? This one here, this, this, 
PDF file gene, that's what I mean. We already shared in our WhatsApp group. I don't know if I have shared in your, in the one you are, but maybe, but I can share it with you for sure. Okay, guys, so now you learned a lot of things. If you, if you have questions, please type in the comment section and I'll just play the video again for us to practice our listening skill one more time. So let's listen to it. Pay attention. And one good exercise is while you are listening and you have the transcription, listen and then uh, repeat with them. Okay. Try to copy the way they are saying things in this video. This is a shadowing technique. So you listen and then you repeat it together with them after listen many times to the same thing. So let's do it again. Oi, tudo bem? Vou levar esse cinto, por favor. A ver se é só o cintinho, não vai levar mais nada? Só o cinto. Tem certeza? Porque esse vestido tá saindo bastante com o cintinho. Não, obrigada, não quero. O vestido, se você levar, o cintinho sai pela metade do preço. Ah, é? Então tá, tudo bem, vou levar. Então vai ser o vestido, o cinto. Vai querer um sapatinho pra ir junto com o vestido e o cinto? Não, obrigada, não tô precisando. Tem certeza? Esse sapatinho é a sua cara. É minha cara, né? Não, eu não quero não, obrigada. Olha, se você levar o sapatinho, o vestidinho e o cinto, a gente consegue fazer por 13 vezes sem juros pra você. Nossa, tá ótimo. Então tudo bem, pode colocar tudo. Você passa o cartão rápido, meu marido tá no carro me esperando, sabe como é, né? Ok, so guys, uh, we are getting to the end of this class, but before I leave you, I need to say, I need to say that's very, very, very important. So, Thank you all. Thank you all that were in the Portuguese fluency journey, that watched our classes in the Portuguese fluency journey. Thank you all that um, thank you all that trust in our work and uh, is, are here with us watching these classes. Thank you all that watch our classes uh, on Instagram, that watch our videos there that are with us, that see our stories. Thank you very, very, very much. Uh, it's really excited, exciting. And it's very important for us when you see you guys following us, watching our classes, uh, enjoy, join our free events. That was the Portuguese Fluency Journey. It was so cool to see the comments, to see people watching our classes there, talking to us. And uh, every time we see you guys learning something different in Portuguese, especially if this is if this thing you learned with us, of course, uh, this is very grateful for us. We are very happy about that because uh, we've seen that before. And the most important thing for us is to see people really achieving their goals because we know how hard it is to get something. Uh, and to learn a language, sometimes it's pretty difficult when you don't have the right tools to do that. And when you see, uh, and it was a pleasure for me, I know that I, I still made a lot of mistakes while I speak English, but it was um, very special for me to learn English, to be able to speak because I had a uh, great difficulty of doing that before. And uh, I achieved my goal and now I can be here teaching you and explaining things in English. So if when you say that you learned something with me, I'm very, very, very happy. So thank you very much. Thank you all for that. Thank you for helping me to improve my English while I'm teaching and you tell things for me. You said you say things and you explain things and you give me tips. Thank you all very much for that. Uh, and I want to say also, I can't forget to say bem, oh my God, bem, bem-vindos new yappers. So welcome to the new yappers. So this is the week we prepared for the enrollment to the Yes Portuguese course. So the enrollment to the Yes Portuguese course is opened now. 
So it's from Monday, last Monday, Monday, September 9th to Friday, September 13th. Okay, so the enrollment of our course is open only during this week. So if you want to join this community of Portuguese learners and learn even more with us and uh, have all our content, our material, the, the material we prepare is exclusively for our student, join us. You have this opportunity right now by going to this link. Just give it a, a chance, watch the video that is in this link here, yesportuguese.com slash vv and then see if the course is for you. You have 30 days to test the course. And if you don't like, you have your money back. And we also have this payment plan. You can split the payment in four installments. So maybe it can help you. We always, we do it for you. We do that just for help, to help you, okay? So let's see, I think I have one question. I can only watch on YouTube, but I do drop in. I apologize, I love the classes. Thank you, Pink Pearl. It's so nice to have you. Thank you very much. Jean, you have a question. Nossa means what? Nossa can mean what? Like a surprise. But Nossa can mean whoa. It's like, oh my God, Nossa. And Nossa comes from Nossa Senhora, which is our lady. So when you say Nossa, it's like, oh my God, OMG. Okay? Holy something, holy shit, holy, I don't know, holy moly, I know. Uh, thank you, você é a melhor, obrigada, muito obrigada, Jean. Kevin and I will sign up on Friday. Oh, Michelle, you'll be very welcome. And you and Kevin, it would be a pleasure to have you as a Yappers. Uh, bota para quebrar, professora. Valeu, Chad, thank you. Nossa means whoa or what? Thank you, Pink Pearl, for explaining that. It's an expression, it is. It is. It's a slang. E você fala muito bem, tá ótimo. Muito obrigada, Chad. Thank you very much. Valeu, minha professora. Valeu, Michelle. Thank you very much. Yeah, so people answered Nossa. Boa noite a todos. How do you... Uh, very good, just say you're good. I'm lost. An ótimo. Ótimo, it's good. It's great. Ótimo. Great. Parabéns. Sextou, my girlfriend's Brazilian. I learned from scratch. Oh, you learned from scratch. Yeah, so it's hard, right? Very good. So you learned Portuguese. You already can speak it. That's, that's amazing. Muito bom. E aí, boa noite. Tchau, boa noite. I love it. Thank you very much. Teacher curse? I'm telling my mother. What is that? Teacher curse? Curse? I don't. I, I don't think I get. I get it. Sorry, Michelle. You're talking about my course. I don't know. Okay, guys. So, uh, if you have any question about the Yes Portuguese course, you can contact us in our WhatsApp group. And to join the WhatsApp group, the free WhatsApp group, you can go to this link here. Ask for join and I'll add you in the group where we share materials. But right now we also have a, co a group to talk. So those that want to speak, to talk, to share things with each other, you can you, uh, just you ask for join. And this is the main group where we share materials and you can't speak there. But you can also send me a message saying, I want to be in the group to chat and then I'll add you to the second group, okay? So yeah, sua cara, can you say minha cara? For sure. You can say the yes Portuguese course, it's just like me. So it's made for me. So yes Portuguese course é a minha cara. You can say that, okay? Oh, okay, I curse. Yes, Michelle, that's right. I said shit. Okay, yeah, it's true. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Curse of Edward, I know that. It, I just didn't understand that because it was out of context. Sorry, sorry. Thank you. 
Okay, guys, so now I'm leaving. I hope to see you all that are here because we already have some. We have you, Jean, Saif, that in the road to the US Portuguese course. And I hope to see you all there. Hope to have a... Oh, and for the new Yappers, we have a meeting. Uh, and it's only for the Yappers, guys, I'm sorry. We have a meeting. We have a, we have a classes, a group classes to talk.